Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. I'm gonna give you a quick tip on using the auto shot match feature within DaVinci Revolve 16. Might help you out a little bit, so let's get started. Um, I've got two uh, shots here, shot with two different cameras. Um, same thing here, like this is the 5D Mark IV, love the colors. Sony, don't love the colors. Uh, GH4, and I think this was a A6500. Uh, this one was motion JPEG, so this is definitely a 5D Mark IV, I believe. And I can't remember, maybe a 6400 from Sony. So what I'm going to do uh, really quickly is I'm going to go through each one of these. I'm going to shot match them using the shot match tool. And the tip I'm going to give you will become uh, apparent here really quickly. So as uh, you can see, it um, definitely improved their... Uh, this was before and after. So the contrast and everything is a lot better. It's not perfect, but my tip here is in the preferences under color, under user, there's this use legacy shot match. So you can click this and go back to the older version, the older algorithm basically. So 16, um, they talk about it here, has this new uh, neural engine basically. Um, in this paragraph, they don't say it's whether it's better or worse. And usually when they do that, it's kind of like, and they leave it in the preferences. It's usually like, well, it might not work that great, this new neural engine. You can always go back and try that, which means um, you can, either one probably might work better. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm noticing here. So this one right here that we've done is done in fifth, uh, 16. Resolve 16, and the one we've got here basically was done in 15. And as you can see, the contrast on 15 looks a lot better than 15 when you compare it to the original shot. So here is 15, here is 16. So in that case, I'd say I would use the old algorithm versus the new neural engine. Go on to the next one. Here we can see as I'm going Basically, when I move my mouse up to this uh, gallery picture, it, it applies the new grade. Um, and as you can see, there's not much difference here. Let's go on to the next one. And I'm going to zoom in on a skin tone so you can see this better. And here's the old, this is the old 15. That's 16, 15, 16, 15, 16. Again, not much of a difference. Let's go to this uh, low contrast shot with a bunch of clouds so here is 15 and here is 16 and here's the original just so you know so i'd say in terms of this one it's kind of a toss-up because uh, i think 16 did a good job in terms of contrast because 15 added too much contrast that's not what the original shot looks like that one so i would say that Perhaps 16 did a better job, but it got the, I would say, especially when you look here between the difference, you can see this one's more magenta. Um, but this one got the sky right in terms of the white balance, but this one got the contrast right. So my tip is um, if you're doing a shot match and it's not looking that great in 16, just go up to uh, preferences, user, color, and then click this. You don't have to leave the program and come back in again or restart or anything. You just uh, click this, click save, and then try it again real quick. And if it, it actually might be better instead of having to spend a whole bunch of time color grading and matching up shots. Now, like I said, these were kind of disappointing. Um, if I was doing, these were two different angles and it was an interview, if, as I would switch between the two, I'd be kind of like, it would be a jarring effect and it would take the person out of the story of the, you know, the person that's being interviewed that's telling the story. But what I've got over here, as you can see, these two match up quite well. I can zoom in on the skin a little bit better. As you can see, I, as I go back and forth, these were shot with two different cameras. This is the uh, 5D Mark IV from Canon. I'm pretty sure this was the A7R2. And if I turn it off, the grade, you can see there's a big difference. And basically what I did here is I brought a couple of still frames out to 3D LUT Creator and I did a using the chart here um, and it did a fantastic job. Now you might be thinking, well, wait a minute, doesn't DaVinci Resolve have its own chart tool? And it does. And you can go ahead down here and pick this passport 
uh, that matches this one and I could turn this on and I could line these line the chart up to here well the problem is with this one is if you do that you're not really shot matching you're just basically making the chart look the same for both cameras and I've tried this and it doesn't work really well because what happens is you might love the colors of the 5d mark 4 of your skin tones and you're like um, if I turn this one off and you say oh I don't love the colors of the Sony um, but what you're gonna end up doing is making them look both similar but you're gonna lose all that great skin tone that you had before so in this case um, if you're doing shot matching one of the tools you might think of is using 3d LUT creator which is like a $200 program I've owned it for years and it can definitely save you a lot of time in post also if you're interested in doing a shot match like this by hand that's even closer than this I have a course on it um, shot matching two different cameras I'll put the link to it down below so that's pretty much it my tip is if you're having problems with shot match and 16 just go back to the other algorithm in 15